I'm so emo. Hello guys and welcome to my playthrough of Terraria. So, I don't know how long this is gonna last, but I'm gonna try my best to make this consistent. Um, this is just like, kind of like a filler for, you know, while I wait for a big plan that I have coming up. So, I'm the Silver Spade. If you're excited, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And I'm gonna go make my character, and I'll be back with you in a couple seconds. Okay guys, so I am back, and I've created this guy right here. So, now that he is here, I'm playing on softcore, so I only lose money. Um, let's get right into this. So, that's my other character. Um, world. Talk Yes, I want normal mode. Okay. So let's go to Silver Play Room. Okay. Okay, guys. So now that we are back into the video, the basics of Terraria are, or the basic tools that you can score here, are the copper sword, sword, pickaxe, and axe. You spawn with these tools. And you can't break anything, like, like, I can't break, uh, dirt with my sword, um, obviously, so, uh, there's no shovel, so we have to use a pickaxe for dirt, so let's just mine this tree, and get some wood, so, it uses, like, a tree feller, feller, um, like, type, Thing. I don't know what I'm trying to say. All the wood falls at once. Unlike Minecraft. This game is mostly compared to Minecraft, but there's a lot of differences in it. You know, like 28 bosses or something. It's a big difference. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Wow. Okay. I chopped the wrong block. So this guy right here is our guide. Um, he spawns in the world, and he teaches us what we can craft with items. So, what do I want to craft with this gel I just got from killing that slime? I could craft a torch. Well, I can't craft it, but when, well, I could craft that, but it shows you what you can't craft, too. See, there's all these items, like the slime. Thing. We're gonna get into that later. But we need to build this guy a house, so. Way. Let's just chop down these trees. Ooh, there's a cable over there. I'll go help. Oh, he doesn't need help. Okay. So let's just mine these trees. Okay. So this is our inventory and start building a house. So this doesn't use gravity for most blocks, but like Minecraft sand can fall, and, um, so can a new type of block called silt, so, that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's craft a table and a chair. So, a table and a chair is necessary for NPCs to move into houses. Um, this game has, like, 20 or 30 NPC NPCs, so, yeah. So the next thing that's necessary is, since this is a 2D game, you have to get these walls. So this is just like background, you, um, since you can't place blocks behind you. So, you just fill in the background, then this place will be safe. So I'm using Smart Cursor right now, uh, it's... When you press control, control in um, Terraria, it activates uh, smart cursor mode, which fills in like every blo every block with um with background wall. Okay, so the last step after getting the door in is torches. Okay, so now our guide can move in. Boop. He is now you know he now belongs in this house. So let's check this out really quick. Okay. 
Now, this is a crafting table. So, our crafting grid, or not grid, but like, this is our crafting. All we have to do is stand by the crafting tab table to, um, be able to make stuff. So let's make a wooden sword, which is two damage more than our copper. Okay. So let's just kill this guy. And we're good. So. Uh, oh, we have some bu bunnies and stuff here. I am going to make a bunch of houses for more NPCs to spawn in. And I will be back shortly. Hey look! A slime dropped an iron skin potion. Those are pretty good. I think I'll take that. Okay guys, so welcome back to my, um, welcome back to my world where I've done some work. Now it hasn't taken too long, but here is what, I've just built these, uh, three extra houses. So then, um, I can't get any more NPCs right this second, but this is for when, um, when I can. So it's always nice to, like, start out by putting, um, putting houses down. So if you're caving and you reach one of the, um, if you reach one of the needs for, um, for a new NPC, you know, they just come. So, anyways, now I wanted to go explore this well, there's my first death. And, um, when you die, you know, you just drop some money in a gravestone. And then you spawn back in where you can go back and get it. If you die during the boss fight, it takes you longer to respawn. So that you can't just go back before the boss despawns. So, just... If you hold torches in this game, it lights up the area. As if, wow, that was not a very good cave. As if you were actually holding, as if you were actually holding them. But you can also place them down. So let's just, okay. So as you see, I brought, I broke that pot, like in the Zelda style. And, um, it gave me hearts. You can go, go back there to replenish hearts, like in the Zelda style. Boop, see? Um, my life counter is over to the side. I have 53 out of, um, uh, 53 out of 100 health, so it's pretty good. Let me just jump up here. Um, I'm using rope, which you're able to climb up. Um, so no get. I'm gonna die a lot in this series. I, I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Through that, just gonna die a lot. So, this iron skin person I picked up, it gives you 8 extra defense. So, anytime you put armor on, you get more defense. You can have like up to 100 and something defense because there's a limit to like what armor gives you what. There's no armor that gives you 9,999 um, or anything. So, you know. It's just restricted to what armor there is in the game. Okay. Let's be smarter about this. So I need a um I need to get my coins back and I need a escape route. Come on. Let me make my escape route. Boom, escape route. Climb up, climb up. Ah, okay. So it's almost daytime. And then all the zombies and floating demon eyes will go away. And I'll be able to do stuff above ground like travel. Ugh. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Okay, five health. I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. God. How did that, that didn't even hit me. You guys saw, it, it didn't even hit me. Anyways, it's daytime now, so. Come on, respawn. There will be a lot of that death screen on, um, all, like, all the time, so. Haha! <laughs> who's it? Who's running from who now? So. Okay, guys. Sorry for that cut right there. Just something happened. 
and I'm back. So there's only a two second left. Okay. Ooh, a recall person, that's good. Okay, let's look at our map. There's really no good case here. Um just looking for something. Come on. Um so let's just sorry for that noise by the way, it's just a car driving by. And um let's go find a cave. A good one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or um so as you see, there's been a little bit of ore everywhere. This is um, pretty good ore for the game. And so it's lead ore. Usually you have iron, but there's a chance you get lead. So it's not like it's a 50-50 chance. It used to be only iron, though, before we knocked it. So this game has, um, I, I believe it's five starting ores. And then it has three, like, late game ores that you can get late game. And, um... Let's just look on the surface, because if we go this way far enough, we might find a new NPC. <gasps> there it is. Okay. Let's get up here, get these bases. So here we have a, a treasure chest, and we got a blow pipe. That's not the best, so we'll just take that. We can mine these chests and pick them back with us, so I'm going to be doing that. Ooh, a blue check. So let's just look down here. Oh, we have the crimson. You see that red thing down there? That's a blood altar. And um, it, if you have a demon altar, that means you have the corruption. But if you have a blood altar, you have the crimson. So I haven't gotten the crimson in a long time. Um, so let's just... Ah. Ooh, if you heard that sound, that's a desert nearby. Well, it's not really. It's like a, um, it's a mob from the desert. So, let's just, yep, here's the desert. Let's mine. We mine the sand blocks under these cactuses. It's the fastest way to get the cactuses. Uh, well, it's not bombs and stuff. So let's just collect these cactuses, because they have a use that I will show you when we get back home. Ooh, speaking of home, let's put this recall potion in our inventory. So, I'll, I'll show you what that recall potion does when we need it. Let's just do it. Okay. So, Oh, something's coming. So this right here is the underground sand biome entrance. We do not want to go down there yet. Those are some hard enemies. So let's just... Oh, there's an enemy. We want to run. Okay. There's going to be a lot of running early again. A lot of cactuses. I have to. These cactuses serve a good um, early game purpose. Just really early game though. So let's just collect these cactuses. Okay, and I'll get back to you guys if something interesting happens. Okay guys, so we have found the jungle. So this is a, um, a hard place, to, like, I'm not gonna survive if I go into here. So, um, let me just kill this piranha, cause there's a chance it might drop something I need to it. Okay, it did not drop it, but, whoa. Well, Help folks. Come here, come here, come here. So you can see this one has a lot of health, so we are not ready. This is a sand mob, not a des and uh, not a um, jungle mob. But and the sand is easier than the jungle, so So before we go too far into here, I'm gonna use this potion. Okay, using it. No, it didn't work. Okay. What this person does is it, um, when you drink it, it teleports you home, but for some reason it didn't work. And I guess I'll be back when I'm back there getting my stuff back. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back at this, this place. It didn't take me too long. Just a couple minutes. Um, but let's just get our items back. and Not items, but our coins back. 
Okay. And, oops. Back, back. And drink that person. Okay, now we're teleported home. So, to end off the episode, I'm going to show you what I can do with the cactus. So, let's just go there. I can make cactus armor. And I'll show you what it looks like. We can just equip it over here. Okay. So there's what I look like with full cactus armor. We can also make a cactus sword. And is this any better? Um, I think this might be a little bit better. No. Actually, yes, because this does not have minus one rings. But I could also make a ca uh, cactus house if I wanted to. There's no really, there's really no point to that. But now that I've done that, that's gonna be the ep end of this episode. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So I will see you guys next time for Terraria episode two. Goodbye.